Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys, we've got some uh, interesting potential Kingdom Hearts news in regards to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, the very original Chain of Memories on Game Boy Advance. Uh, yeah, this is interesting. A leak hit 4chan today suggesting that uh, essentially Game Boy Advanced as well as Game Boy will be joining the Nintendo Switch online service uh, for legacy content. This is something that obviously a lot of people have been wanting for some time now, to be able to play old classic Game Boy as well as advanced games on Switch. Honestly speaking, it's crazy that it's even taking this long for a lot of this legacy content to come through for Switch. You know, when we look back to the Virtual Console for Wii U, that was such a great service. It had such a great lineup of the classic Nintendo legacy content. Uh, a bit late than never though, I suppose you could say, and uh, yeah, it looks like Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories could potentially be part of this list that has leaked alongside suggesting that emulators for both uh, Game Boy as well as Game Boy Advance are coming to the Switch for Nintendo Online. The emulator for GBA is known as Sloop, and the emulator for Game Boy is known as Hiyoko. Now, as all links go, take this with a grain of salt. It is a 4chan link, and as 4chan links generally serve, uh, there is the potential here that this could just be for the sheer fact of gaining traction and nothing more. Uh, there are a few things that do suggest that this is very legitimate, like for one, just the simple idea of Game Boy Advance and Game Boy coming to uh, NSO is a pretty high chance. I don't see why Nintendo wouldn't want to do this, capitalize on legacy content, and especially when looking towards uh, specifically these consoles, GBA, as well as uh, Game Boy. Yeah, you're going to drag a lot more interest into NSO. There was a great lineup of games for GBA and Game Boy. The 4chan account is anonymous, so it's not really a setup of a specific user trying to gain some kind of popularity or name being thrown out into the wild and talked in amongst the populace. It is anonymous, which is a little bit different. Sometimes we do see with a lot of these leaks that it is coming from an actual usernamed account. The leak also consisted of a bunch of pictures, which I think I'm going to refrain from showing just in case Nintendo decide to step into the scene. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff here showing like the emulator list as well as uh, actual images of the emulator itself, even with a download link to a 7-zip file that contains the emulators and they both work. I'll show the image of the list. This is the complete list of all of the games that have been found within the files for the emulator so far. It's a pretty good looking list. Uh, we've got stuff like Mario Kart in there, Mario Tennis, Mario vs Donkey Kong, which is nice, Metroid Fusion, Metroid Zero Mission, Wario Land, uh, Minish Cap, Yoshi's Island, some nice stuff, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but the one that catches my eye specifically is Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Now do keep in mind though, just because these games are appearing in this list, it's not to say that they will come through for uh, the Game Boy Advanced side of things for NSO if it does release. This just means that these games have been tested. I really do hope that Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories comes through though for this service if in fact this is real, only because this would give us a modern way to be able to play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Aside from, you know, getting a Game Boy Advance emulator like most people these days and just playing it on their computer, or a handheld pocket emulator. Craziest thing is too, we've never really had a modern way to be able to play Chain of Memories as it never made its way to Virtual Console. I guess Square Enix saw it as like there's no point because we have Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, the 3D remake of the game, but it's wild to me because it's still got a lot of charm, honestly, while uh, a fun fact, I haven't actually gone through the entirety of classic Chain of Memories I play quite a bit of it for myself, and there's a certain amount of charm that comes with the 32-bit uh, pixel style, and seeing Kingdom Hearts in that format is actually really neat. So yeah, I'm really excited for this, honestly, and not just to look at Kingdom Hearts, but uh, I did have a little bit of experience with GBA back in the day. I specifically really liked the Crash and Spyro games, more so the Crash games. I thought those were really good uh, Crash Bandicoot games sort of translated into a GBA format, like the huge adventure. These were actually really dope. I even remember playing Klonoa 2 on this bad boy, something that I would like to see brought forward for the service, but like I highly doubt. But considering that Square and Nintendo do seem to have a pretty good relationship, and that back in the day, Kingdom Hearts most certainly did have a home on Nintendo systems, uh, also recently we got all of the Kingdom Hearts games brought forward to the Nintendo Switch, 
uh, it unfortunately is the cloud versions. I cry myself to sleep about this every single night. Uh, but on top of that as well, Melody of Memory came forward, so Kingdom Hearts still certainly does have a presence on Nintendo, and it wouldn't surprise me whatsoever if, of course, we do get this GBA service, that Chain of Memories would be one of the available games. However, guys, that's just a quick news update. Uh, again, this is a leak, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but in the comment section down below, do leave your thoughts and opinions towards this. Are you excited for a potential GBA and Game Boy service for NSO? And would you like to see Chain of Memories pop up? I'd love to know. However, guys, I'm cynical. Hopefully, you're having a damn good one, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.